July 27, 1953. In Asia, the Korean War ends after more than three years of fighting with an armistice signed at Panmunjom. President Dwight Eisenhower tells Americans, We think of those who were called upon to lay down their lives in that far-off land to prove once again that only courage and sacrifice can keep freedom alive upon the earth. To this day, the Korean Peninsula remains divided between the Communist North and the non-Communist South. 1974. In Washington, the House Judiciary Committee votes to recommend the impeachment of President Richard Nixon. The panel charges Nixon with personally engaging in a course of conduct to obstruct justice in the Watergate scandal. Congressman Joshua Eilberg, Democrat of Pennsylvania. Not only is Richard Nixon guilty of bribery, high crimes, and misdemeanors, but he must be impeached and convicted by the Senate if we are to remain a free, courageous, and independent people. More than a dozen days later, Nixon becomes the first American president to resign. 1996. Terror strikes the Atlanta Olympics. As a pipe bomb explodes at Centennial Olympic Park, killing one person and injuring 111 others. Eric Rudolph, an anti-government extremist, later pleads guilty to that bombing and others in the South. He receives life behind bars. 1980. The deposed Shah of Iran dies at a military hospital outside Cairo, Egypt, at age 60. It happens during the Iranian hostage crisis, when dozens of Americans are held captive for 444 days by the Islamic fundamentalist regime that replaced the Shah. And 2003. Thanks for the memory of sentimental verse. Comedian Bob Hope, who entertained Americans and U.S. troops worldwide for decades, dies in Toluca Lake, California. He was 100 years old. Today in History, July 27th, Tim McGuire, the Associated Press.